Hello, in this video we're going to be taking a look at basic nesting. If you take a look at the sheet that I have on the screen, I'll just click here under Untitled there, you can see that this is one meter by one meter squared. And if I just zoom in, you can see that I've created a few shapes on the screen. And what I want to do is to nest these so they go across the sheet. The way that we do that is to click here for nest selected vectors. So if I click that, and this opens up the nesting dialog. Here you can see the tool diameter, so I need to type in the diameter of the cutter that I'm going to use. Now this can be larger than the actual cutter that you're going to use. So let's say for instance if I type in 12 millimeters there and I use a 6 millimeter cutter that will be fine. It will just leave 6 millimeters on the material. But if I were to use a larger cutter then it would actually cut inside the material or the object. The toolpath clearance is the clearance between each toolpath. So that's the material that's left on between the toolpaths. So I'm going to, let's say, add 10 millimeters onto that. The edge clearance is the amount of material that is left on around the edge of the sheet. So I'm going to leave 10 millimeters on that also. In the next section, we have a low part rotation so what this will do upon nesting ArtCam will work out whether you can rotate the parts around to make them fit better so I'm not going to do that just for the moment you can allow mirrored parts so you can mirror them over you can allow parts within parts you can also create guillotine cuts and you'll see that there's another video explaining the use of guillotine cuts you can choose the direction and where you wish to nest from. So I'm going to do it from the bottom left of the sheet. You can change that by clicking the arrow there. The nest direction, I'm going to do it in X. You can also do it in Y if you wish to. Now we come to the grouping of objects. Now this is especially useful. Let's say for instance if I'm doing the letter a. For instance, you have the island in the middle of the A. Now you would want this to be grouped with the outside of the A, otherwise it would create two completely different objects. So that's going to be covered in the other nesting video. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that I'm not grouping these vectors here. And then we come down to the amount of parts that you want. So if I were to select all of these vectors, what I could do is click on this checkbox here and then let's say that I wanted 10 of these parts and then if I click nest and just zoom out you can see that it's created 10 of each of those parts now I can undo that let's say for instance if I wanted 25 of those and click nest you can see if I just pan up we have sheet 2 here. So what this has done, because there are lots of different parts and it's actually going over the boundary of the one meter sheet, if you take a look up here we have a plus sign in the sheets project tree. And you can see that it's created sheet 1 and sheet 2. So if I select sheet 1 you can see that that's showing me sheet number 1 and those are all the parts that are being nested onto that sheet and then I can select sheet 2 and machine that to create my 25 parts now if I undo that let's say for instance I wanted four circles what I can do here is untick the all parts section and select each of the parts individually so there you can see there's one next to the circle. This is saying that there's going to be one circle nested. So I can change that. Let's say I want four circles. Click apply. 
there you can see that that's gone to four and let's say select this pentagon and I'm going to choose ten of these and apply so if we go back to the circle you can see that it's got four pentagons got ten and this square I'm going to do 25 of those and click apply so now if I select all of the vectors you can see there's four 10 and 25 and then if I click nest you can see what this has done it's nested the specified number that I wished on the sheet so I've got four circles I've got 10 pentagons and I've got 25 squares now as you can see these are all facing the same direction so I want to rotate these so if I undo that and come back up to allow part rotation so I'm going to select that if I type in 90 all that this will do is rotate 90 degrees if I were to nest these now I'll just bring this down so you can see the whole dialog box if I were to nest these now you can see that that's rotated 90 degrees if I wanted to get more detailed I can undo that select all of the parts again and I'm going to change it to let's say 20 degrees and click nest now the lower that this step angle is the longer it will take for ArtCam to actually calculate the nesting so there you can see it's rotated all of these around and all of the gaps in between are specified by my tool diameter and my toolpath clearance